times you come out to tend to the animals and you just never know what's going to walk up into the yard. We got our electric fence set up for our goats. We were going to move some little kid goats out here today. And instead of kid goats, we had two pigs. So you just, you just never know. They walk right up. We put a food out. They walk right in the fence. So, when life gives you your pigs, you make sausage. Realistically, the pigs did wander up a day after the storms come through. So, we notified all the neighbors where the pigs are, that they are in an electric fence. I don't know how long they're going to stay in there, to tell you the truth. I hope they don't tear up the fence. But, I'll give everybody a good chance to come clean their pigs before anything happens to them. But, our, our homestead is not set up for pigs. Goats, yes. Pigs, no. I wasn't going to show the dispatch of these pigs, but here they are. We have one male and one female. So we kind of took the breeding out of the breeding pool, put it that way. But we've also seen two weird spots, one on the girl and one on the guy. So not knowing what those are and not knowing where these pigs come from we're going to take the neck knife we're going to lance this and see what it is and see if we even want to keep the meat because that's a lot of work if the meat ain't worth keeping so let's cut into the girl first and hopefully it won't be too graphic Ew, it's so jiggly let's do it this way Their hide is so tough. Hang on a minute and let me get me some gloves so I can grab Holt. All right, now we're gloved up, we're ready. And we have got to see what this is. Well, I'd hate to say it's all fat, but that's what it looks like. Mm. And that's the navel, her navel. I guess I could have had a sharper knife, but this all looks like she you know, if you guys know what this might be, but it does not look cystic. It looks like a layer of fat. And he looks like he just got in a fight with somebody. This one is altogether different. It's not squishy. It's hard. And it just might come off. It's hard. It's hot. <clears throat> and I can't get my knife in it. Hold on, and I'm going to go get me a better knife. 
All right, now we got a better knife. Or hopefully a, at least sharper. Let's cut into this sucker and see what we got here. You know, guys, when you get stuff like this, don't be afraid to cut into them. The worst it can do is be something that you don't want. But, check that out. Whatever it was, cut it off. There's a small one. I'll probably cut that off. I guarantee you that was an old wound from where that boar was fighting. So, it, it's hard. It doesn't look pussy. Does it look infectious because he had a layer of fat under it? I think that'll be okay. So let's get this other one off here. We'll lay that one down there. That'll go in compost. Or actually, it'll probably go to the chickens. The chickens will have a field day with that. Let's get this other one off. Because I am not wanting to fight with that while we're processing these guys. They're not really big enough for bacon or ham or anything like that, but we got these two off. Since I got a sharper knife, let's go back to the girl here. Let's see if we can't get down in here a little better. And see what we have going on. I'm thinking this is fat where she's had the babies. And like I said, if somebody else knows something a little bit better about it, let me know because all this looks like is a big fat polyp. So we're going to go ahead and process these guys. Thanks. All right. So now that we've got the pigs processed, I want to let you know how much meat we got. Out of two little pigs, we got over 41 pounds of just plain meat. No bone. We boned it all, put it in bags, and... There it is. That's all pure boneless pork. We can grind it for sausage or we can do whatever we want to with it. Put it in a crock pot or whatever. But that is the best use for one of those little pot belly pigs. Alright, let's take a look at the damage that pigs can do in just a matter of hours. Let's take a look at the first place. Now they have made themselves a nice little hog wallow. That's how deep it got. You know, they, that's our garden spot. Part of it. Let's take another look at another spot. They have rooted all the way down to tree roots. Now it has rained since they've been in here, but they did a lot of damage. Let's take a look up here. They were trying to make themselves another hog waller right there and just rolled the grass up just too easily. Under this grassy moss is roots. So they just rolled it right up. And here's another spot up here. And like I said, it's just just a few hours. And check that out. And those were two small Japanese potbelly pigs. That's what the TWRA told me that they were. So you just don't turn them loose. A lot of people keep them for pets. They're not pet quality pigs. If you want to get something, get a guinea pig or a rabbit. But these pigs are not for pets. They will breed and breed and breed and they will overrun just like wild boars. So that's my vent for that. <laughs>